Well, buddy, listen, we've talked about it before. You become world champion in October. Is the undertaker pulling you aside and saying, Hey man, this is, you're the champion now. This is how you're supposed to act. This is how you carry yourself. Do you remember, was he kind of leading in that regard? No, no, he didn't really tell me that. But you know, one thing about undertaker, he leads not by speaking. He leads by example. Uh, he's the kind of guy that's going to go into the arena, go into the locker room, shake your hand, look you in the eye and say hello. He makes sure he says hello to everybody. And when you're wrestling an opponent and you get done, you better thank your opponent. You, you, he shows you how to respect other people and you need to do the same or he's not going to respect you. You show that kind of respect, Undertaker will respect you. Hmm. Well, buddy, listen, he has a reputation of being the guy who leads the locker room, as you said. And there are some stories about him in wrestler's court. Did you ever get pulled into wrestler's court? No, I, I wasn't part of wrestler's court. I, I was there to uh, witness it uh, when Brian Gewartz got pulled into it. What happened was he was writing for The Rock, Jericho, Edge and Christian, me, Hurricane Helms. But Brian had incredible chemistry with all of us. And he was assigned to us. But some of the other wrestlers were getting upset that Brian wasn't writing for them. But he wasn't told to write for them. So they misunderstood why Brian was only writing for us. That's what he was told to do. So these wrestlers were really pissed off. And they are like, we're going to take you to court. And we're going to figure out why you're not writing for us. So Undertaker was the judge. And Bradshaw was the prosecuting attorney, which means Brian Gewurz ne never had a chance. <laughs> oh. So what, what he ended up having to do, he had to buy five cases of beer for the wrestlers. Uh, that was it. And he got a brow beating, uh, a, a complete brow beating, especially by Bob Hawley. <laughs> Yikes. But, um, you, you know, and Bradshaw, they, they really beat the crap out of him uh, uh, from, from a verbal standpoint. Uh, but where Brian... Uh, Brian took it like a man. So he did what he had to do, and, and then th that was it. And Undertaker makes the ruling. You're going to buy five cases of beer for yep, these guys. Yep, he said five cases of beer. Buy it today. Have it here by tonight after the show. <laughs> and people did whatever he said. They always followed yes, the instructions. Yes, he did whatever Undertaker said. He was a leader in the locker room. Yeah. <laughs>